This tutorial explains how to extract list elements conditionally using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the list object that we can create with the lines one to four of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new list object is appearing, which is called my list. And we can print this list to the bottom in the RStudio console by running line five of the code. And after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom that we have created a list with four list elements that are called A, B, C, and D. And each of these list elements contains different values. As you can see, two of the list elements contain characters. So the list element B and the list element C contain characters but the list elements A and D contain numeric values. So let's assume that we want to extract all the list elements from our list that contain characters. Then we can apply the filter function, as you can see in line seven of the code. And within the filter function, we need to specify a user-defined function. And in this case, I'm specifying that I want to extract only those list elements that are characters. So for that reason, I'm specifying the logical condition is.character and I'm applying this function to the input value x that I have specified in my user-defined function. And then I'm also specifying that I want to apply this to my list. So if you run line seven of the code, you can see at the bottom that a new list output is returned. And this time only the list elements b and c have been returned because those two list elements are characters. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.